Hey guys! Today we're making this cute miniature fireplace, so I hope you'll enjoy. Begin by making a sketch of the front and cut that out, then trace it onto cardboard. I found that I needed four pieces for the large one to get the depth I wanted for the fireplace and six of the smaller pieces. I've been getting a lot of questions about the checkered paper I use for making the stencils and it's just normal paper you would use for mathematics. Each square is 5x5 five five millimeters. I then added some small dabs of white craft glue in between each layer just to hold them together. Now if you're not comfortable baking glue, you might not want to do this. Now roll out a sheet of clay and cut out a piece that matches each stencil. And make sure to leave some clay on the sides. Add texture using tin foil and use a small dotting tool to mark off all the bricks. I used grey clay because I wanted the fireplace to be grey, but you can also use red, white or any other colour you want. I then went over all the lines with a pointy dotting tool to add some texture. Then add it to the cardboard base and pre-bake. I then prepared the shells. I made mine from a piece of wood, but you can also use cardboard or polymer clay. Last thing you want to sculpt is the inside of the fireplace, and after making that you just want to add the pre-baked piece on top and bake it again. After baking, glue on the shelves and cover the last bit of the inside with a piece of paper, then paint it using acrylic paint. I used a couple of shades of brown, grey, black and white. For the wood you just want to go outside and find a twig, and then for the light I use the same type of light bulb I use for my chandelier. I then sketched out a design for the protective screen thingy in front of the fireplace and made this from copper wire. I chose the solder to hold it together but you can also use a strong glue. 
If you want to see how to solder and the supplies I use for this, please check out my bench tutorial. And once I was done, I painted it using silver colored alcohol ink followed by black acrylic paint. I also made a super simple sock from some red fabric, cut out two pieces, glued them together, flipped the inside out and added some fur. And I just used a piece of wire to make a hook and then stuck that in between the shelf and the fireplace itself. <laughs> 